Today I'll be talking about some of my daily journey or weekly journey to go and visit my relatives uh, when I walk out of our house in Al Hanmiya through the road to go and to cross a main road called Muhammad Ali Street where, where the tram and the buses were there to go to a place or a street called Mgharblin Street and then from Mgharblin to go to Yakaniya area and from Yakaniya area to go to Su uh, Salah or to go to Darb Al Ahmar or to go to uh, other uh, areas Zar Al Nawa to visit my relatives there. This was for me like a journey. Especially when you reach the area of Al Magharbalin, which is built at the time of the Fatimayat Cairo or Yakaniya and Su Salah to see the different culture, the handicraft, the skillful workers. Uh, uh, the people who are actually uh, salesmen and saleswomen, people chanting, people uh, making their voices loud to sell their goods and so on and so But one of the things which I observed, which was still remembering it, is the, uh, the one who is doing the ironing with his feet. You can do the ironing at home with your hand. Now you know, you have got electric one, using the good old days, it was, one, it was a metal one. But what is this uh, uh, feet ironing is a big piece of uh, iron, very heavy, it's about 70 to 80 centimeter long and maybe about 40 to 50 centimeter wide and about 7 to 10 centimeter thick and with a big handle. So when the man used to iron, he put his feet on top of this huge piece of iron to iron jalabiya, which is like you know, you know the woman dress, the men dress, which is jalabiya, or the, the cloak uh, for, for the men, or the the, the 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 dresses of the religious people, the Muslims who they used to wear the jubba and other uh, uh, things. There, this was a very skillful uh, art, a piece of art when those people used to use this heavy, heavy piece of metal to iron this kind of cloth. This is number one. Number two also is when I used to cross this area to visit my relatives. In the evening when I was going back, I used to go to a place called uh, Shari' Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali Street. Muhammad Ali Street was very famous of two things. The artist who came out of Muhammad Ali Street, okay, who used to be actors, maybe composers, maybe uh, poets and others, and the other thing, the two great mosques in Muhammad Ali Street, closer to the citadel, citadel of Salah al-Din, which called Sultan Hassan Mosque and Al-Rifai Mosque. At that time, uh, in the uh, late 50s, Abdel Nasser and his uh, government introduced this uh, big lighting for the street. I was observing at that time a very, very, very powerful image which impacted my life up to now. Under this light, in the evening, in the middle of the spring and summer, we found young individual, young boys sitting down with their books to read because they don't have electricity at home or because the homes, their homes or flats are overcrowded. But this image is still impacting me and teaching me how the young boys and men of Egypt at the time, of Cairo at the time, were determined to succeed even if they did not have the facilities, they did not have the means uh, for success. This is what we used to learn, to see the culture of the people, to see the determination of the young people, to get the highest mark without any resources they have, to see how even when I was working at that age, eight or nine or ten, alone to cross all these roads, it was safe for a young boy or a young girl to walk this distance. Nobody will kidnap you, nobody will attack you, nobody will say anything to you because people were so friendly, friendly and so protective to the young generation in the area. I thank you very much for watching the video and I hope that you can activate the notification bell 
and share the video with your colleagues.